Welcome back to 75 Gallon Mixed Reef Aquarium. My name is Jason, and this is my mixed reef tank. Today I want to focus on wild coral versus torch coral. And also my red flower pot versus green mushroom core warfare. So there's this dance that's happening between the wild bubble coral, which is higher up on the reef, and the brand new um, green torch coral that I picked up from World Wild Coral. And so what I mean by this dance is the torch will make connection with the wild bubble core and they go back and forth um, and so neither one of them is really winning or losing the battle they're just stinging the crap out of each other um, and I have a feeling that the torch core is going to end up winning this but let me know what you think down in the comments if I should move the wild bubble coral completely from the reef tank or let them go at it and see who wins or move the um, green torch coral up higher um, I do like the spot that it's in and they just keep tap dancing all over each other I guess um, overall the reef is going good as far as feeding I've been focusing on the flow and started questioning why I actually run the flow through my sump at the max that the pump allows. And so I've actually throttled it back. Here on the left-hand side of the reef with the red flower pot coral, uh, these green mushrooms are starting to multiply and one day the lights came on and I noticed that the flower pot wasn't fully extended and I'm not sure what happened but here's a clip of it and so you can see the green mushroom um, even in a small clip there's like three let's see four probably five or six that we can't see in this small clip so needless to say, the green mushrooms are no longer there. Um, I was pretty careful in plucking them out. Um, I'll get rid of everything in this tank before I get rid of the red flower pot. That's for sure. Here's another close up. Um, I do run carbon usually for the first seven or 10 days of every month. I am not running GFO, thankfully, and everything is refugium light running 24 seven. Still working on the calcium reactor setup. Still need to buy a couple more components for that. And I'll do a video on it once I get there.